Thursday afternoon. <laughs> I was on my lunch break. There I was, sitting, minding my own business. But I wasn't just sitting anywhere. No. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was sitting on a wall. <laughs> That's right, a wall. It seemed stable enough for sure. Why wouldn't a wall be stable? But then, out of the blue, without warning, it gave way. Before I could regain my balance, I, I tipped and I fell. It wasn't just your average fall. No. It's hard to describe the kind of fall this was. But if I would have to choose a word, I'd say, I'd say it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great fall. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I regained consciousness over at a gurney at Kings County. They tried to fix my fractured bones, my torn joints, and my broken soul. <laughs> All the finest doctors lent a hand. Human doctors, of course, but also horse doctors. <laughs> After surgery, the chief resident put his hoof in my hand and told me everything was going to be all right. But he was all wrong. They tried all they could at putting me back together, but they failed. They failed at putting me back together again. You want to know about my physical stability? Sure, I'll be okay, but after a fall of such great magnitude, I may never recover up here. <laughs> and in here. <laughs> and along here. <laughs> For those of you out there, you young ones especially, listen and listen close. Because I'm only saying it once. If you see a wall, respect that wall. <laughs> and don't sit on it. Sit on a chair. <laughs> or maybe a futon. <laughs> Happy now? I quit! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.